Hey y'all, welcome back. Listen, sometimes you're going to put a whole lot of effort and time into something, and then you're going to find out it didn't work the way you thought it was going to work. Stick around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is how it was supposed to look, and this is how it looked for about a day, and then it started raining. So out of the ashes of failure arose a pigeon of hope. We have the two 2x4s two that you're using for the runner strips going down this way. Right? And then on this one, up here at the top, you take a dozer bit and you drill in a hole like this, right? And then that's where you can run a piece of PVC through, like a rigid piece of PVC. And that's where you can have I have no opinion. There you go. Yeah. I will do the official dad blessing. It's not going anywhere. No load is secure in the back of a vehicle and nothing, no shelf is ready. Nothing can be approved sturdy until some father somewhere, I don't care who he is, comes by, gives it a slight jiggle and says, that's not going anywhere. Once you have that blessing, you take that to the bank. That's not going anywhere. So we're trying to make this video come together and like she said to me off camera here, um, we don't really have the glue to finalize the earth shattering kaboom that the video is done and here's the product, right? Because we never got to that point. We had a problem that needed to be solved. Uh, what we found online was not helpful for our situation, um, but I probably wouldn't have come up with my solution uh, without that first one failing. Because honestly, I wouldn't have done this if she didn't try the other one and it fail we would have just waited right and we would have left them under the grow lights they might have died they might not have been as healthy you know because these things are looking really happy in the ground you can i can already tell the regrowth is coming back from where the chickens ate them up or possibly she planted new ones there i think she planted new ones there so i feel really stupid cut that part out cut that part out because that'll make me look dumb but <laughs> yeah because those are different plants some of them are the same yeah Anyway, so they're looking really good. So this solution was out of uh, desperation. And um, anyway, we're a five foot span. I cut the two by fours roughly 39 inches um, and made a 45 and, a, and, and then the reverse angle at the bottom so it'll sit flat on the ground. 
uh, pocket hole screwed them together and I have a couple I milled uh, two by four into uh, one and a quarter strips and ran it across so that we could screw it together so that they would be you know sturdy and um, uh, and we have the the piece of inch and a half uh, PVC that's running through the middle of it I uh, used a dozer bit to drill the hole for it to go through the middle of the let's call them joists um, yeah. so this goes through the middle I just drilled the hole there if I did it again I would probably come up with a way to not have to do that because that was you can see that margin of error is very thin there but you know uh, if you go slow with uh, with your bit and uh, inch it in, you won't split the wood. So out of the ashes of failure arose a pigeon of hope. So, if you want to be really cool and help us feel better, tell us about some things that you failed in making or doing, and then we can all be failures together. Because as the failure snowflakes collect together, an avalanche of failure then comes. So let's be an avalanche together. <laughs>